On this 12th day of September, at Martyr Shrine in Tay, Ontario, the National Shrine to the Canadian Martyrs, we celebrate with you the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Mass intentions for today are for the birthday for Rongel Aymard Tuveras, Thanksgiving for Lucius and Tuveras family, for Father Vince Heffernan, Thanksgiving of Shirley Nitschke, birthday intentions of Carmelita Cueros, and for the intentions of the members of the Martyr Shrine Association and our benefactors. Our presider today is Father Stephen LeBlanc. Give peace, O Lord, to those who wait for you, that your prophets be found true. Hear the prayers of your servant and of your people, Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pause for a moment and call to mind our need for God, for his love and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy Grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insulting and spitting. The Lord God helps me, therefore I have not been disgraced. Therefore I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me and is near, who will contend with me, let us stand up together. Who are my ad adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me, who will declare me guilty. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to Psalm today is, I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I have loved the Lord because he has heard my voice and my supplications. 
because he inclined his ear to me. Therefore, I will call on him as long as I live. I will walk walk before before the Lord in the the land land of of the living. The snares of death encompass me. The pangs of Sheol laid hold on me. I suffered distress and anguish. Then I called on the name of the Lord. O Lord, I pray, save my life. I will walk walk before before the Lord in in the the land land of the the living. living. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. O God is merciful. The Lord protects is simple. When I was brought low, he saved me. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk walk before before the Lord Lord in the the land of the living. A reading from the letter of St. James. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith but do not have works? Can faith save you? If a brother or sister is without clothing and lacks daily food, and one of you says to them, go in peace, keep warm and eat your fill, and yet you do not supply their bodily needs, what is the good of that? So faith by itself, if it has no works, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works. And and I, by my works, will show you my faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus went on with his disciples to the villages of Caesarea Philippi, and on the way he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? And they answered him, John the Baptist, and others, Elijah, and still others, one of the prophets. Jesus asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter answered him, You are the Christ. And Jesus sternly ordered them not to tell anyone about him. Then he began to teach them that the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. He said all this quite openly, and Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and looking at his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said to him, Get behind me, Satan, for you are thinking not as God does, but as humans do. Jesus called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wants to become my follower, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, and whoever loses their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. The Gospel of the Lord. In his very short, inspired letter in the Holy Bible, St. James says, I, by my good works, will show you my faith. And we may ask then, what are these works? The Gospel writer, St. Mark, in today's text, in the Holy Gospel, presents to us a scene in which the leading member of the faith community, St. Peter, gets it wrong. While admitting that he knows Jesus of Nazareth to be the Christ, the anointed one of God, Simon Peter does not understand what that entails. Good-intentioned, 
he might be. But his thinking about Jesus Christ is misguided. He offers, in fact, to get involved to prevent our Lord from carrying out the process of salvation through suffering, death, and resurrection. In another version of the Holy Gospel of this scene, Peter is presented as actually saying to Jesus, this must never happen. As our Lord goes on to say, that is not only his way, it is also our way if we want to be Christians. Facta non verba, in Latin, deeds and not merely words are, as we in a slang saying in English say, are the proof in the pudding. Even our everyday relationships with friends are described in such expressions. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Someone who is a true friend will be there if and when you need them. And our Lord Jesus Christ goes further, saying that the mark of friendship with him is in action. You are my friends, he says, if you do what I tell you. Not everyone who says to him, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of his Father. Confessing faith in God our Lord and confessing our failures thus far to follow him wholeheartedly, we pray for the frequent outpourings of his Spirit to renew us and so the face of the earth. We pray that the Spirit of God will not only move us to believe and to declare that we believe, but to show, as St. James challenges us, to show our faith by the way in which we live. Our Lord presented in the Gospel account according to St. Matthew, the famous text in which he has people coming before God on Judgment Day after they have ended their years in this world, and they are judged according to whether they have served the needs of others, not whether or not they know their catechism well and they've been taught the official teachings of the Christian community. And so, as I said, we continue to pray that the Spirit of Christ will fill us not only with true knowledge of our Lord, but the true desire to follow him in his way of the cross. And so as believers, we turn to God and pray, uniting ourselves again with all our fellow Christians throughout the world and throughout time as we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And now in faith we present to God some of the concerns that are on our minds and in our hearts at this time. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear Lord, our hear prayer. prayer. For the church, walking in the presence of the Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the world leaders who work for justice, peace, and integrity of creation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those suffering from illness, violence, poverty, or hunger, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the members of this community called to listen 
for the stirrings of God's spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our pray. prayer. Lord God, our Father, you know all our needs and you answer them in and through the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give us eyes and ears of faith that we may see and hear the answers you give and accept them in peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we've received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands to will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. And in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, 
Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, being filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, with St. Jean de Brebeuf and companion martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. For through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. You might offer to someone there with you, or think of someone for whose peace you wish God to bless them. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. A few words of an announcement. This year, due to the COVID-19 
pandemic and its restrictions upon us, our annual fundraising event is once again online. And we are begging your support to help us to open in 2022. We ask that you donate online and receive as a thank you our new documentary, Love in Action, that shares with you our struggles and graces as we navigated these very difficult times. You'll find this on the Shrine's website, www.martyrs-shrine.com. And we thank you for your ongoing care and support. Let us pray. Lord, may the working of this heavenly gift, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your heads, if you will, and pray God's blessing as we ask our holy Canadian martyrs to intercede for you. Through the prayers of God's holy martyrs, may the Lord bless you and protect you all the days of your life. May God grant you health of mind and body, answer all your prayers, and bestow on you always the peace of God's kingdom. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ.